Hey gardeners, part three of transforming our yard into the garden. Um, today we are going to stake all of the tea stake posts. And that will be the trellis for all of our tomatoes. We just finished watering the sweet peppers and the kale mound and all of the squash mounds. Don't they kind of look like boobs like a ton of mother nature boobs and we put up the tea steaks what? hi cam hi. and i think we're about to put up the rest of the uh, tp yeah. sections yeah, babe. Another day, another garden task. Earlier today, Colin and I finished the rest of the bean teepees. So we've got five in total. So I finished the two trellises for the melons. I'm gonna plant the seeds in the mound and then they'll vine up and one will vine that way and one will vine that way. I finished these and I'm starting to walk away and I noticed something out of the corner of my eye and that is the squash mounds I noticed this little guy hello this one's got a few of them going there one and there you can see the seed getting ready to pop up. I also got the marigolds planted. This is a natural pest repellent. <sighs> okay, so um, I just got finished taking the uh, chainsaw and cutting little notches up all of the poles for the teepees so that I have a little placeholder for the twine that I'm gonna string up. My arms are like jello right now. Oh, uh, I also forgot to take a video, but my cousin Sammy was over earlier and she helped me weed out all of the trees that were growing out of the tomato mounds, all of those little helicopter seeds that fall down. It's like right after we finished the tomato mounds that those all started coming down. So there was hundreds of little baby trees growing out of the tomato mound. So she came over for a couple hours and helped me weed all of those out. Um, so Sammy, thank you for coming over and helping, and I'm sorry you didn't get to be in my YouTube video. I love you too. So I took a walk after dinner and I noticed that some of our pepper plants are starting to grow little baby peppers. And I just love moments like this um, in the garden. I love when stuff like this starts to happen because it's a little bit of excitement and uh, anticipation for that pepper to grow. And once it has that beautiful color change, when it ripens, it's just, it's really fun to watch the entire life cycle of the plant. I'm just having one of those moments, you know? Oh. <laughs> Hello, Frank. Hi. <laughs> that dog is awesome. <laughs> Kisses. Okay, bye. Off to adventure. These are red bell peppers. 
And if you look between the leaves, this will come off. That's just the petals. And you've got the little pepper growing. You can see multiple stages of the pepper in this one. It's kind of perfect. You've got the little bulb where it starts to grow. You've got the area where the bulb starts to develop petals. You've got the point where the petals are getting ready to open up. You've got the petals open. And then once the petals fall off, the pepper is growing. This one. It's looking really good. Oh, there's an ant crawling on it. Got one growing there. in there. An update for the squash mounds, how the little babies are doing. We've got four babies. In this mound, we've got them in all different stages of breaking through the dirt. Three on this one. And all five on this one. All five. So I'm going to um, string up this teepee that's behind me. I'm using this jute twine. All right, so we finished stringing up the rest of the uh, teepees. And Colin dug holes in the tomato mounds. Ready, you're gonna have to get your get your vocal cords ready. <coughs> Come on, give me like Roger Rabbit ran Roger Rabbit ran across town. <laughs> Cause I was trying to do another R. I used to make Griffin say Ricky rode the railroad train and he couldn't pronounce his R so he said a wiki woe to Willwood twain. They get all bad. Okay. So what do we got here? Okay, so 
I am planting the tomatoes that we started from seed. So I start by digging the hole. And I, um, before I came over here, I cut off all the lower branches of the tomato because I'm gonna plant a lot of the stem down into the ground. Uh, so I dig the hole and I start out with a little handful of worm castings, which is earthworm poop. I kind of just uh, sprinkle that in there. And then I take the tomato out and I break the bottoms of the roots up to kind of loosen them up a little bit. So I pull the roots loose. And then I place it in the hole, but I kind of hold it an inch above and I push some of the loose dirt down underneath a little bit to kind of get the roots already buried into some of the dirt. And then I set it down and I want the tomato on the side of the cage, so I'm gonna angle it this way. And then I'm gonna just fill in the loose dirt all the way around like this. And I'm gonna bury this further into the ground, but the stems will start to grow these things called auxiliary roots. If you look in close, you can see the very, very beginning of them. I don't know if it's gonna be super visible, but you might notice like some bumpy things on the bottom of stems when you have your own plants. So what I do, uh, cause last year we had this problem called blossom end rot. So, uh, it's basically when the soil doesn't have enough calcium and the tomatoes have a calcium deficiency. And to uh, combat that, you can crush up eggshells. So this is all I have left because I've planted all of the 17 other tomatoes already. But I basically put eggshells in a food processor and got it to as much of a powder as I could. And you want to put that at the top of the root ball where these auxiliary roots are going to grow. So basically put like a little small handful around like that. And then I proceed to bury the stem a few more inches up. And I am just going to take a bunch of dirt and keep burying this stem. I'm gonna pull all this dirt. I think uh, what I read on the internet was eight to 12 eggshells um, crushed for each tomato plant, so. And that's like crushed to a fine powder, not just crushed in your hand, right? Um, crushed eggshells take about a year to decompose and become uh, small enough for the roots to actually suck up those nutrients. Mm -hmm. But if you, if you process it into a fine powder, then it can immediately start taking those nutrients in. So I basically just uh, build the soil up around it. So the tomato plant looks a lot smaller than it originally did, but that whole part of the stem that's down here in the soil will grow roots. The roots are really deep into this mound now from me planting it so deep down. So they will uh, not have as much of a struggle for, for keeping water and stuff on really hot, dry days. So all three of these mounds are San Marzano's. I'm really excited for these tomatoes because we're gonna make and marinara sauce with these. Pan out in a way that you can see them. It's very exciting. We're gonna, um, so like this one will grow up on this side of the trellis and then that one will grow up on that side and every other side. Cheers to planting tomato plants. We are not sponsored by Cider Boys. Unless Cider Boys wants to sponsor me. What do they, what? <laughs> Cider Boys wants to send me an apple tree. No, if Cider Boys wants to send you strawberry magic. <laughs> I 
know, Depends right? you can't find it anywhere. Or we can't Sneak. find strawberry magic anywhere. I'm so upset about it. So now I'm gonna go grab marigolds and plant those around these tomato plants to help smell act as pest butt. control. I don't want to repeat that. <laughs> she said, "Smell my butt." Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna go grab the marigolds now and plant them all around the tomato plants to act as a pest control because they have a very distinct smell that a lot of bugs do not like. That's what I'm gonna do. Today I mixed up well, broke up and mixed up topsoil to make it loose topsoil, and I mixed it with leaf compost to fill all of the holes that Colin dug for these tomatoes. And Colin finished digging the trenches in the bean teepee mounds, and I filled them with that same mixture of loose uh, topsoil mixed with leaf compost and we're getting ready to plant all of our beans and after that I'm going to plant all of the rest of the tomato plants okay so we are about to plant the first teepee which is our Chinese red noodle beans long beans these are very big Hey gardeners, right now Colin is weed whacking all of the really tall clover off of the mounds that we're gonna have the cucumbers and the spicy peppers in. Here. This is a direct hit. This <laughs> is a direct hit? Yeah. Damn, you okay? Just your left eye. Okay, we're good. Goodbye, Clover. We love you. Check out that pepper. Notice random, I don't know if it's squash or zucchini, but we planted the seeds up here, but we've got some random wild ones growing. It's probably from our compost. These are doing really good. They already are getting ready to start putting off their blossoms. Put that there. Yeah, to try to scare the deer away. All the cicadas think that Colin is a great potential mate when he's using the weed whacker. They keep swarming at him. Oh, dude, there's a big spider. Oh, nope, I'm out. Oh, oh, it's running. Who's got a runner? That's creepy. Ew, that's fat. Oh. got a big butt. Fat. 
So yesterday, Colin dug all the holes for our spicy peppers. Um, and I planted them last night at sunset. We uh, finished the arches for the cucumbers and today we are going to plant the cucumber seeds and finish up the pathway for the garden. And that will be the end of part three. So we have this pathway finished. Um, we basically have it to where each stone is basically a step. These are the mounds that Colin did all the weed whacking on. We made these archways for our cucumbers. Planted all the uh, spicy peppers all throughout the mounds. And the cucumbers will grow up and around these archways. Gonna finish up this pathway. Everything's looking really great. Our squash and zucchini. They're looking fantastic now. I'll post the video of what we did to take care of the bug infestations that we were dealing with in all of our squash plants as well as the video to take care of the little green caterpillar worm things that were messing with our kale and some of our melon seeds have popped up So we've got them on each side of the cage so they can grow all up through the cages. So this concludes part three of transforming our yard into our garden. Uh, keep your eyes peeled because here in a little bit, uh, once everything's a little further along, <laughs> I'll be posting a uh, walkthrough video of the garden to see everything um, in its uh, older stages. I hope you have a fantastic day and as always, happy gardening.